Good morning, Fall City Middle School. It's Friday, April 30th, the last day of April. When you come back, it will be May. Pretty crazy. Uh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, everybody. First of all, happy real birthday to Ethan Morris. Z-O-U, Ethan. So happy real birthday to you. I hope you have a great one. Uh, for lunch on Ethan's birthday, we're having taco pie, potato wedges, applesauce, and chocolate chip cookies. Uh, let's see. Circle of Friends would like to remind everyone to wear blue today. So hopefully you all wore your blue and post your Flipgrid videos. Uh, let's see. It should be updated, and they'll be shown on May 5th during homeroom. Registration forms for the Barracuda swim team are with Mr. Lampy. So if you want to be on the swim team, see Mr. Lampy by today. Next up, let's see. Practices for any 8th grader who that would like to audition for high school show choir will begin Tuesday, May 4th at 7.40 a.m. in the music room. Please use the north door by the music room. Audition packets can be picked up in either the middle school office or the music room on the table by the door. If you have questions, see Miss Sutton. So if you want to do show choir next year in high school, 8th graders, see Miss Sutton and follow those directions. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Um, from Miss Haynes. The volleyball camp forms that were handed out in homeroom are for the camp to get ready to play junior high volleyball, not actually signing up to play in the fall. The forms need to be returned to Miss Haynes in the office by May 11th. And we got two AOKs. The first one is going from Miss Haynes out to Tate Wilcox, Bailey Timms, and Blakely Sells. After track practice, they came to the high school meet uh, Tuesday and help move hurdles and it saved the coaches and athletes a ton of time. So thank you, Tate, Bailey, and Blakely. Another AOK -okay going from Miss Fankhauser out to the Teague Man. Teague Man, every morning lately when he's told which room to go to, he says thank you. He doesn't have to say anything, but will always acknowledge that he was spoken to. This is a good communication skill to have. Good job, Teague. And finally, your words of wisdom for the weekend. It's about bad language. Ooh, this is a good one because we've heard a lot of bad language lately. Have you noticed how much bad language there is in movies and videos and music? Back in the olden days when your parents and teachers were teenagers, you never heard bad language on TV or the radio or in the movies. It was considered offensive. In other words, hearing a lot of cursing and bad language upset most people. Now listen to these ancient words of wisdom. Speech is the mirror of the soul. As a man speaks, so is he. In other words, the words we speak are a reflection of who we are. It makes you think, doesn't it? Today, if you hear bad language, think about the words, what the words are really saying about the person using them. If you catch yourself using bad language, ask yourself this. Am I the words I speak? With something to think about, it's Mr. Banger. Make it a great day or not, because that choice is always yours. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody, and I'll see you in May.